Hey folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to Let's Try Dungeon Keeper 2, Livestream Edition, which is why there's a webcam over here as I watch the chat flow by. So Dungeon Keeper 2 is one of my very, very favorite games, uh, way, way back in the day. This is definitely an older game, um, and uh, the reason I'm doing it is because uh, goodoldgames.com, GOG.com, which is one of my favorite sites to pick up, you know, good old games, but they also do lots of indie stuff and whatever. Um, they've had this game on there for a long time. The problem is Dungeon Keeper 2 was not running well in uh, more modern versions of Windows. However, at some point, I don't know when it happened, but at some point they introduced a, a patched version of the game which runs beautifully on modern computer systems, which is great news because I've been wanting to do a little sort of like, you know, retro let's try of this game for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages um and actually there's a there's a new sort of version that some people are working on called war for the overworld i think that's what it is um which hopefully we'll get to really soon but for now we're just going to focus on dungeon keeper so the original the idea of dungeon keeper is you are the villain who is building the evil dungeon that adventurers might come into and try to like defeat and stuff like that you know you're the, you're the bad guy um, and the original Dungeon Keeper was great, great sort of storyline and aesthetics and all kinds of things. Definitely 2D. Dungeon Keeper 2, some people say maybe some of the storyline and aesthetics is not quite as strong, but a lot of the gameplay mechanics are stronger. Um, and personally, I really enjoy Dungeon Keeper 2 a lot. You can play it multiplayer, you can do all kinds of different things. Um, fantastic game. Obviously, the resolution is, you know, a little dated, but what can you do? Uh, there is a campaign that you can play. Uh, oops, cancel that. Just continue. Yeah, there's a campaign that can lead you through a variety of maps. Um, I'm not going to play through it right here because they're like the first few missions are very like tutorially. Like that's the thing. You don't have to read any manual or anything like that. Just play through the campaign. The starting bit will coach you through everything you need to do. And it's actually very humorous. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is jump into a skirmish map. Uh, which will have kind of everything unlocked and we can look at doing that right away. So um, there's a bunch of different maps the game comes with, some with like different counts of uh, suggested players. Um, and we can play with this circlets map and then how do I actually um, tweak the difficulty? Keeper, Psychotic, Stalwart, Idiot, Guardian. Um, I don't know, stalwart, I guess. I don't know, the AI. We'll just go with one one opponent in here, and uh, we'll jump right in. So, this is my dungeon heart right here. This is the thing, if this gets destroyed, I lose it. So here's the interface, generally speaking. You've got uh, your map, your, your mini-map down there, your tools, again, the resolution, the interface, the different things. But most of what you've got right now, you start off with three imps, and these will do the majority of your early work. So I've got a bunch of gold over here, which I'm going to have to dig out to fund some other resources. And this is a portal that brings in extra monsters for me. So I think what I'm going to do um, is we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and dig out over this way. And dig this out. So, Dungeon Keeper 2 has been getting some extra attention recently because EA, which owns the rights to Dungeon Keeper, just released a mobile version of the game um, called Dungeon Keeper 2. And it's basically getting bashed as the single worst mobile, like, ripoff thing ever. Uh, on the basis that you see how I'm digging things out right here, and you're just sort of, you know, you're blocking out some rooms and building some sort of corridors and tunnels and just having, you know, a lot of fun. It's just a great fun game. You get to, you know, do all this. Well, in the mobile version, they're doing that sort of, like, farm esque kind of thing where it's like, okay, digging out this one square is going to take 24 hours. Um, and, yeah, if you want to dig it out faster, then you can pay. Like, real money to dig out faster. And it's like, what is this crap? So people are, I would say, rightfully pissed about this um, this sort of thing. And, um, need a treasure bait to store gold. yeah, yeah, we'll get a treasury soon. Don't worry about it. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear the voices or how the sound level is. Hopefully it's okay. Uh, yeah, so it got a lot of flack. And the argument is that it's not, it's not necessarily, here's the thing, if they had released the game with a different name, um, even though it is like, it's the same sort of graphics and aesthetics and mechanic and everything. But if they did called it something else, it wouldn't necessarily be a terrible game. Those, those sort of time delay games are not automatically bad. Um, because sometimes on your phone, you're only playing for a couple of minutes at a time. So that, that sort of time delay thing can be powerful motivation. The problem is they call it Dungeon Keeper 2 and effectively it's not because you don't get to play Dungeon Keeper. You get to play stupid bullshit. Okay. These imps have to work faster. So I'm going to smack them around a little bit. I'm an evil overlord. They work faster if I hit them. What? Somewhere upstairs I can hear Essentia rolling her eyes. Disappointed at me. I'm sorry. 
Um, we should probably put a, a second treasury. Uh, not here, though. Closer would be more convenient. Frankly, I can leave this stuff on the ground. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do that. Okay, that's good. Now, you see, after they dig out, these guys will go and, like, they'll stomp up and down on the ground here. And convert these tiles. Uh, and the red color in the middle, that's, like, my color. But by claiming this, each one of these generates one mana per turn, which I can use to do other things. Like, right now, the only spell I have is the Create Imp spell, but having more imps sounds like a great idea. So, we can produce things faster. The imps will level up. The little number in the middle there is their current level. The higher level they are, the faster they go. Claim the portal. Good. So, this portal will summon extra creatures that will fight for me. It won't be imps. They'll be fighting type units. Um, and e This portal can provide me with 15 people. It's more like a supply cap. So, I can only have 15 um, fighting creatures with, from this one portal. Now, before they come in, I probably need to get a lair set up. So, I will do that here. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set up a 3x3 three three hatchery over here. Because my creatures will all feed on chickens, so the hatchery chickens will show up here. And by having this little, by having it build big enough to have this creature, this little hatchery building in the middle, they'll hatch quite a bit faster. And then what I'm going to do is set up a lair, um, just surrounding this whole area. That should be a fair decent amount of beds, space for 16 monsters, which is great because this portal can only produce 15, so that should be fine. Uh, what do I want to do with this space? I'm not sure if I want to do anything actually. What do I want next? Maybe a training spot? Actually, that's not a bad idea, and it should be bigger than this. It should be a 4x4. Four four. Let's make it 5x5, five five, a nice big training center for all my idle folks. And we probably need more gold, so let's go ahead and dig out this space over here. I would really like to set up a library really soon to get the research going on as well. A new species of creature oh. has entered your dungeon. So my first goblin has shown up. Again, very, very basic frontline fighters. Ooh, I also got uh, one of the Fireflies. Um, they're great until they get canceled, you know. Um, <laughs> the Fireflies can fly over um, lava and stuff. And also, I think they have a ranged attack. I'm not sure. But right now, these guys are all level one. So if we can get them to start training and level themselves up, they'll be much more competent fighters. My goal on this map is probably just to defeat my AI opponent. But in the campaign, there'll be a variety of different sort of activities that you may have to do. Um, oh, yeah, I really need an extra like money storage spot. Well, I don't know if I really need it, but kind of need it. Because right now, my, my heart can only hold 16,000 gold. Uh, and if I ever want to spend more than that in one shot, then I will need some, uh, some money things. I might build a library here. I don't know if I need a library quite that big, actually. Um, let me... I don't know what kind of spaces I want to designate. No more gold over here. Could use some money. Or some... What's it called? A vault? Words. I need words. What do we got? Treasury! Yes. A casino to keep people happy. Yeah, lots of things. I'm a good overlord. I want to keep my minions happy. Is that a chicken? Or an egg? An egg bouncing away. Look at that. Here, let's smack some people. Oh. These guys are not my imps. I'm getting lots of goblins. Oh, do I have enough mana for more imps? Yeah, let's summon more imps. Now, each imp you summon increases the cost to get more imps uh, higher, but I like to have a good number of them. I like to stop when the imps are like 30,000 mana each or something like that, because the more you have, the faster everything gets done. You can pick people up. It's very entertaining. And drop them somewhere. You can use them to s use that to assign people things. This is way too many chickens. It's actually more efficient to build like individual squares like in little bits and places so that uh, wherever they work or something, just so they don't have to walk as far. Okay, I'm going to build a huge training room over here. The training room will be used automatically by people, and they will train themselves up to level 4. Once they reach level 4, they can no longer um, gain any XP here. But then you build a fighting pit, or you put them in real combat, and that will work. Alright, that's really good. Uh, do I build a huge library? No, probably not. That would be foolish. But I do want a library because I want more spells. Library, here with the books. Let's go... Uh, I don't have enough money stored. Oh, all this money's got to get brought into my uh, my heart here so I can spend it. And what I can actually do is I can build some little treasuries, maybe in these hallways here. Just so that there's technically another couple of little places where they can just dump a couple of pieces of gold. And it will be added to my total. So I can spend that. Yeah, well, I'm good. I like to keep my people happy, but it doesn't mean, you know, I don't you know, smack people around every now and again when they're not working hard enough. It's sort of a love-hate thing. I want my people to fear me, 
but also be happy that they're working with me instead of my opponents. What do we get? Ah, oh, we got a salamander in here. So they can breathe fire things. Giant lizard things. Now, as I build different types of rooms, it will unlock more and more things that will start to join in. Okay, I should have enough money now to build this research area. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. And then what I will do is also build a workshop. Oh, we need people to pick up the money. Give me more imps. There we go. A couple more level one imps. Smack them around. Now, one of the coolest spells in this game is this possession. I'm actually going to use it right now to showcase possession. We will possess, say, this goblin here. And that's what I love about this game. Now I'm in first person mode in my own dungeon, running around, and uh, I can fight. Because there's combat. Like, usually you just, like, command your people to go and do things. But you can also do it in first person view. And I think that's awesome. Now it has rotated us, and the problem is I actually don't know how to rotate my view. Oh, there we go. Page up, page down. Good. Uh, was this the orientation I had? No. No. There we go. It's more like that. Or at an angle. I don't know. This will work out fine. I think I got a wizard in here. Yes. Good. I'm going to make sure that he gets assigned to uh, work in research right away. Now, you can assign anyone to work in the research department here, but the wizards like it especially, so they are happier working there. Now, I'm also going to build a little bit of a workshop here so we can start building traps and things. Oh, that is not much of a workshop, is it? No, I should probably embiggen this. Now, technically, you can fit more stuff in rooms if there's more walls. Like, the fact that there's sort of not a wall in between here kind of sucks because um, it's not just the amount of space available, it's the amount of these sort of structures that show up that determine sort of how many slots your various buildings have. Um, and the shelf space really makes a difference for research or, or whatever. So this is not the biggest library you could possibly have, but I think it's going to work out fine, for example. Um, I do probably have some idle people. Combat, moods, total. Mostly training. I could assign them different things. I could drop a goblin in here, for example. And I might want to. Just get the spell research going a little bit faster. Sure, let's do that. It's fine. And we're going to embiggen that workshop by building there. So they'll merge together and give me, there we go, some more little work spots. And we got a new creature. We got a troll. Lovely, because the trolls love to toil in workshops. And I'm also going to give them an extra goblin over here. Again, they're not going to be super happy, but they'll get things done. And now I could start working on various traps and things. Um, I guess there's not actually a lot for them to do right now because they don't have anything queued up. I don't remember... How does the map look? Let me turn it this way. So this is a three-player map, but I think my only opponent is here. I think this is kind of a dead area at this end. Oh. No. Maybe not then. Maybe I, could, I should expand over here. I wonder how fast I should expand. Someone's complaining about not having a lair, but there's lots of lair space, so that's not right. Let's do this and that, and then we'll expand in this general direction. Just lay out some more rooms. Nice 5x5 five five rooms. Actually, it takes them slightly longer to dig out areas with gold, because after they collect the gold, they've got to bring it back to somewhere to store it. Which is why you tend to build treasuries like close to where you're digging. On the other hand, you don't want to build treasuries too close to the front line, because if you do, uh, then thieves can come in and steal your stuff. I'm intentionally doing this area here so they can walk through that. And maybe we'll do a doorway that way. Getting some nice big rooms cut out. Actually, I don't think I know this map. Ooh. Has become unhappy because he has no lair. Why don't you have a lair? Why don't you still live here? There's lots of bed space. Maybe you didn't claim it early enough. Maybe I put you to work too fast. There we go. All right. Well, in that case, let me put the uh, troll down here just to make sure that everything is okay. Especially since I've got nothing for you to build right now anyway. All right. Now that you've claimed a lair, go and work in the library. Make me more spells. There are many good spells. I want to be able to turn people into chickens and do all kinds of exciting stuff like that. Uh, we should get a casino soon. 
Casinos will help get people happy. I think building a casino here would be very nice. Good size. I could expand it a little bit more. Well, we'll see. I'll build it as is, and then we'll see if we need to do more. Now, it's fun about the casino is you can set it in two different modes. You can set it in the mode where it's a generous payout to make people happy, or the other way where it's rigged, uh, makes people less happy, but you get a lot more of your money back. Uh, I think what I am going to do is actually make this casino bigger. I don't think it's got a lot of machines in there at all. There's like one place for someone to play cards, which is no good. We definitely want more space than that. More gold over there. You know what I need? I need more imps. And I think I need to smack some imps around. You can kill the imps. Every time you hit them, they take a little bit of damage. You can see that little flower thing above their heads. That that ring is how many hit points they've got. So you can <laughs> accidentally beat your, your workers to death. Try to avoid doing that. Pro tip. Dead workers don't work as hard. Okay, happy. They've all got moods and things. Right now, everyone is pretty happy. As long as they get fed, paid in time, payday. and can play in the casino. There we go. It's payday right now. So it's going to cost me 5,000 gold. Everyone's going to go to a nearby treasury and pick up their pay. You can also, if someone is unhappy, you can actually drop money directly on their heads. And that will make them happier. Go figure. People like money. Even monster people. In the big room over there. I don't usually build like this sort of structure with all these like big giant squares. Uh, there's one researcher working here. Good. I'm actually going to lose some of my uh, shelf space here by building a door here. Hmm. Maybe we don't want that. In fact, I'm going to do it. Just because this is such a crappy library to start off with, I don't think I want to sacrifice any more of my wall. I can do that. Maybe motivate my workers some more. Your casino is too small. My casino is too small. Oh, but, yeah, that's right. I can stretch it out, though, so it's okay. There we go. So we've added three extra games. Hopefully that's enough. It's more, um, it'll be more optimized if it's, like, sort of square. You can just fit more things in there, but hopefully this will be enough. Hello, Bolty Head, Twitch TV. Thank you for subscribing. I'll think of you as I, like, mistreat my monsters. Ooh, this is interesting. Do I actually want to dig through here at this point? I may not want to. Because I suspect that there's a big open area here, maybe with some, like, goodly human types. And I don't want to be fighting them. I'll actually cancel this entire digging operation. Because the fact that there's lava there probably means there's open walkable space as well. Um, I'm going to have to research. There's a spell that gives you a vision. Um, and that, ideally, I will unlock soon. You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually 15. I don't think I'm capped on this. No, I'm at 13 monsters. Okay. So in a second, send a couple of goblins back. I'm going to... I will set... I'm going to grab two goblins and set two of them down here. Hopefully it help research. No, they're not doing it. You want to gamble. Hmm. I think I can do it, but maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. I'd like more spell researchers. Now, what else do I want to build? We've got a lot of stuff. So the other buildings here, you can build bridges, you can build torture chambers, uh, which when you've got prisoners, you can use that to um, to get information out of them and also to flip them to your cause, or maybe that's just keeping them in jail long enough, they'll eventually break and join your cause. More importantly, by having a torture chamber, you will attract Maidens of Pain, uh, which are great fighters. A little bit freaky, because they actually like to put themselves on the torture racks for fun. Um, they're, that, that's kind of weird. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. What has entered my dungeon? Oh, we got a rogue! Alright, cool. Now, that possession spell I showed, each um, each type of monster has a different set of unique abilities and attacks that uh, when you take them over, you get to use, which is a lot of fun. I usually take someone with a ranged attack. Like, I like to play as a wizard, for example. Um, but they're all pretty good. As a rogue, you can actually steal gold from your opponents, and they've got stealth abilities and stuff, so it's a good way to do that. So, yeah, what do I want to add in at this point? Temple, no. Graveyard. Very good if people start dying, but we're not quite there yet. Hmm. 
bigger workshop. We've got lots of place for workers in here. Actually, I think we're, we're mostly okay. Now, I really do think this is going to open up something. So what I'm going to do is, these are your traps and things. I'm going to set up, actually, I like the magic door. Where's the magic door? Your secret door. Oh, magic door here. So A, it's a door that you can use to keep people out of your area, but also it shoots at people, which is great. So now that I've got that down there, let me go and grab my two trolls and make sure that they are working in here. Hopefully we'll start working right away. There we go, two trolls in here. They like to toil away at that. They will start producing that magic door. What spell did we get? We got lightning bolt or thunderbolt, which is good for, you know, killing other people. So we're building that. And you can build a whole host of really complex traps. You know, lots of them just do damage, um, but some of them work in, in concert with one another, like the freezing traps, and you combine that with uh, just various turrets. Need a combat pit. So we've got some creatures that are level four now, and they do uh, cap out at that point. They can no longer train um, in this training room. They need the actual combat pit. So I'm going to turn one of these rooms into a giant combat pit then. Which is has become unhappy because he has no lair. Someone else has become unhappy. Why don't you have a lair? Like there's room here. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, so now what I'd like to do is can I get a level count in any way? A magic door. Been created in your work. Magic door has been created, which is good. I think if I hit cold control, no, I'm not sure. Anyway, you can dump people in the fighting pit. Yeah, he's level four, which is great. Um, you're level four, so if I put them both in here, they will fight. Now, I hopefully, if everything goes well, they will fight until one of them is unconscious. Every now and again, one of them may die accidentally, but overall, this should help people continue to level up. In fact, as more and more people reach level four. You can throw, like, huge group fights in there as well. You're level 4, we'll throw you in as well. You're level 4. You're level 4. I mean, you're gambling, which might mean you actually want the happiness boost, but... You're level 4. Giant melee. Now, in a big group fight like this, it might mean that, you know, some people get knocked out faster, so they're not going to get quite as much training. But, overall, it should go okay. Now, I'm debating building more... Um, more traps over here, but I'm waiting to see exactly where things are before I do this. And you can fill your entire area with traps. In fact, if I was worried about being attacked, I could um, surround my, my heart and my portal with traps and doors and various things just to make sure that things don't go too terribly. There you go. These people are doing the... Oh, someone just got knocked unconscious. Hopefully an imp will go over there and bring him to his lair so he can uh, heal himself. There we go. He's being carried. All right, good. Someone else getting booted out here and being picked up by imps. Alright, as long as they don't die. As long as they get picked up quickly enough and uh, don't die, then I'll be fine. Okay, we're definitely out and about, and you know what? This is a dangerous thing to do. I'm going to click this door to, to lock it, and then I'm not going to let anyone through there. No, the don't. Battle in the combat pit is over. Don't go through. I don't want you going over here. You're just going to get yourself killed. Yeah, find other jobs. It's fine. I'm going to leave that door locked. Because there's probably like a human fortress over here. Plus, it's likely the other AI will be coming around here and claiming this area. Which I would like ideally for myself. Um, but at the same time, I don't think I'm ready to duke it out yet. Still got things to do, things to research, things to build. Uh, speaking of building though. I suppose we could build a bunch of traps out there. Maybe that would be fine. Just a whole bunch of sentry traps. They're just like a bunch of guns lined up over here. Something like that. Um, you know what? Hold on. Lock it. Hopefully they'll start constructing it in the workshop. Where are my trolls? Start constructing those. And then once they get built, open the door and unlock that. Okay, that would work pretty well. Ooh, huge gold vein over here. So what I'm going to do is... Dig out a little bit of an area here. We'll use that as a treasury. And then we'll dig out that gold vein. And we'll keep sneaking up because if we can get to this base here, because uh, if we can unlock more portals. Oh, yeah, see, there's just AI over here. Blue guys and over here. Because I thought I just set one AI. 
Yeah, and secret doors are good because they might not see it and just think it's a thing. But I don't think we're going to get attacked. Mostly I'm worried about like shooting people who, who wander by. Um, as opposed to finding off a, a true large attack. Drop you in there. Oh, you're... You know what? I'm going to take you out of that. We'll just drop in some healthier level 4 people. Everyone who's just gambling. Level 5. There you go. You guys keep skilling up. Please and thank you. There we go. Things are being built. Wonderful. Okay, that should be a pretty good frontline attack. So yeah, I'm actually not sure about going this way. I mean, it's great if I want conflict. Do I want conflict? Maybe. I mean, the sooner I go and fight the AI, the less advanced they'll get. Uh, we really need to set up that uh, treasury because right now they're just wandering way too far with the gold. So they're wo not working at top efficiency. So if instead... Spell has been researched. We got a new spell. What do we get? Healing, yeah. Need one more. This one here that they're now researching, that's going to be my vision spell, it which is, is pay very pay. handy. So, dig out this way, and then dig out that way. There we go. Tons of people getting knocked out, and no imps around. We're pretty much, like, reaching my limit of how many imps. One more. All right. Yeah, bring them to their lair so they can sleep the it off. Otherwise, they're going to die. It is over combat is done so we'll grab the last survivor and let them out let my trolls keep toiling away there nearly done that workshop item so you know what I'm gonna unlock this door now so that way they can deploy these cannons ASAP so my uh, my imps might take a little bit of damage out here but we'll see what's going on trap has been created in your workshop trap has been created good oh more gold over here so again what I'll do is I'll dig out a larger area we'll put out a treasury Holy crap, there's a lot of gold around. We've got no shortage of money. Oh, actually, hold off on that. Dig out this area. We'll get a treasury set up first, just for efficiency's question. Take efficiency's sake. Enemy bridge. Take over an enemy bridge. Yeah, but there's going to be humans living in there. See, and they've got cannons and things that are shooting us from across the river. Our little flies are getting in trouble over there. Level 6, but he's hurt. Gotta wait for him to rest. Level 4. Level 5. Get another grand melee going on. Oh, my creatures are pleased. That's wonderful. Yeah, see, they're taking some random damage. What's too small? My treasury. Um, that's okay, because we're going to build another treasury over here. Just like that. That way they don't have to go as far to bring the gold. Yeah, we'll turn this whole hallway into a treasury. And then go back to mining out lots of gold for me. Like so. Alright. So we're going to do some more stomping. And they're going to keep wandering around here and give me more sight. But yeah, you can see it's full of humans. Now, there's almost certainly a big treasure in the middle here. If I'm willing to work my way through here and sacrifice a whole lot of minions. And you know I am. I mean, what are minions for if not to be sacrificed at my whim? <gasps> no! Enemies! 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 Okay. We need a... One of those. And a lightning trap. Holy crap. Hold on. And then what I'm going to do is grab, like... Not my wizards, not my trolls, but everyone else. Oh, some of these are in combat in the arena. And we're going to drop them all here. So they can go and fight back against these imps. All right, so we've run into one of our enemies at this point. Um, is everyone out of there? Yeah. Okay, whoever was there, I pulled out. Some of them might be injured, but imps are not really good at fighting. This might be a good uh, situation for me to possess, say, the level six goblin, and go and kill some imps. You can hold shift to run. Excellent costing him mana every time they do that. Oh, he's already got... Oh, we do need a graveyard so we can get some uh, some vampires. So they've got a jail set up, which we don't have yet. Hunt down some more of his imps. Good stuff. Good, good, good. Now, if I die in this form, I lose a hell of a lot of mana. But other than that, I'm like... Far more effective than my minions on their own. 
I like it when they die, they, they die and they just leave like little feet behind. I'm like one-shotting most things. Oh! Well, she's only level one though. Now, I'm only running a goblin or an orc, whatever. Goblin, I think. So I don't have any special abilities. I guess I'm gonna, f I should just focus on killing imps. Oh, that guy's bad news. You know what? Abandon ship. Let's go back to our base. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Good. Sentry traps make me happy. Keep things well defended here. I got all my gold near the front line too. This is not good. Uh, what I should probably do is build a guard room right here. And grab the rogue and a couple of black knights. And drop them in here on guard duty. I think that would be a swell idea. All right, looks like we have free reign over this ring here, which has some gold, but a lot of like little mana tiles we can grab pretty freely. It'll also give us line of sight if anyone ever tries to break out of there. All right, here's fine. Probably want more treasuries. Yeah, it looks like they're walking pretty far to dump the gold. Let's do that. A new species of creature has entered your dungeon. What's the new species? Oh, there's an elf and archer. Or dark elf archer, I think. That's good. Um, no researchers going on. I think we're going to need more lair space at some point, too. And actually, for the sake of getting food a little bit more conveniently for people, I'm going to build... Um, I'll go for another 3x3 three three chicken coop. And then we will get another layer set up there. And what I should do is get a prison and such set up. Um, I don't know where I want it. Actually, there's a fair amount of space over here. Oh, it's outside of my safe zone, though. Um, let's do something like this. I want a large amount of space. We want a graveyard, a prison and probably a torture spot for my ladies of pain. There we are. I'm going to keep doing some stomping. I've got a black knight still wandering around over here, which is great. Still waiting for some of our buildings to get built. Now, my imps, if they can reach in here, they will actually steal these rooms and will gain possession of them. Ooh, they've built a temple. They have a lot of stuff built here. It's my only opponent. I should maybe focus on that end. How many imps do I have? Did I lose any? No. Good. Because sometimes you do, and you want to rebuild them. Uh, I don't think we need to do any training there. Good. Magic door to block things off here makes me feel very, very happy. Yeah, see, there's little, like, imp slap fights going on over here. So, what we do is grab everyone and drop them all here. Now, you can only drop people on territory you control, but I control territory all the way over here, and then people should more or less auto-fight. It'll be better when I get a spell, the, there's a rally flag that will call people forward. Um, I'm gonna grab that level 6 salamander. Oh, I got a spell, so I got a bite, and then my level 2 ability is... Oh, throw fireballs, yeah, let's do that. Although the bite's probably really effective. I like how the camera really stays locked to your um, your head. Seriously, where where are all your imps and stuff, dude? Well, let's fight as sorcerer. A lightning trap has been created in your world. Dodge that stuff. Oh man, the uh, cooldown on that attack is really long. I should just bite him. Just bite him. Run into the chicken coop where all his enemies are. Oh, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. Switch to spell two, shoot at range. Switch back to spell one. It's not hotkeyed very well. Kill the goblin. Kill the goblin. Ooh, spider. She's pretty tough. Fire. 
Yeah, I think without the rally spell, though, I'm not really getting as much done as I would like. There you go, kill the imps. Eat the chickens. Kill more imps. There you go. Because as long as I keep killing the imps, and he, if he doesn't have the mana to replenish them, then um, my imps will be able to come over and stomp everything. Alright, I'm pretty hurt. I'm going to pull back before I die here. There we go. See, my imps over here are trying to stomp this room. Which is great. So, what I'm going to do is fight his imps. Or is that one of mine? It must be one of mine. Okay. Alright, you just keep hopping up and down. Oh, right. And this thing here. So I've got my evil sight, which is good. I should actually start using that. It is payday. Takes a second to expand out. Like in here, I can do that. Is it not working here? Oh, there we go. I don't know, maybe it's too far away. Who's fighting? Oh, some imp slap fights over here. Yeah, we need more tech. Um, what do we need? We've good on money. We've got a lot of mana. I could summon uh, the Reaper, Mr. Horny. That's his name, don't judge. Um, so, what do I want? I want... I need a graveyard. Like so. I need a prison. Maybe a nice big one. And then a torture chamber. Like that. There you go, a few torture racks and things. So now, if we knock someone unconscious, we will bring them into the prison. If we kill someone, or if someone dies, they will get buried in the graveyard. Hopefully we'll attract some vampires. Oh man. There you go. Fight back against these imps. I should actually mount some traps over here. I don't know if we get them built in time. But that would probably be a splendid idea. And I just like the sentries because they shoot. Let's we'll see if we can get a couple of those built relatively quickly. So what entered my dungeon? Ah, there we go. The Mistress of Pain. So she's going to get herself a lair set up, maybe. Oh, she might already do that. She might be going to the train. Yeah, and that's okay. Very effective fighter. Very, very effective. Uh, mostly, I'm still waiting for research to happen. I only have the one wizard still. Oh, and he is researching, so... We're not maxed out. We got lots of room. Good. If he can get me the rally spell, I'm going to be extremely happy. Uh, do I not have an, a big enough... Uh, graveyard? Like, it's possible. Might not have enough room for corpses. More slap fights over here. And a couple of Dark Elves. Oops, I slapped my own Dark Elf. That's not what I meant to do at all. There we go. They have not leveled up very much, which is kind of a shame. But they're... There we go. Help me flip this torture chamber. And then keep flipping over there. Have I lost any imps? Oh, a couple. Let's grab an extra couple. Or, I guess we lost one, but I'll grab two anyway. Now, they do spawn in only at level one, which does suck. The enemy has taken your bridge. What enemy? Oh. Oh, yeah. Right over here. Really doing a bit of a number there. We're well defended at the front gate, which is important. Your torture chamber is under attack. Is it? Well, that's sort of not my torture chamber, really. I mean, I took possession of it, but it's not really mine. Uh, a bit more fighting going on. Bring in the goblins. Bring in the black knights. A rogue. Or a rouge, as people like to say. 
lay the beat down. Good. Very good. I don't have anyone assigned to guard duty anymore, I don't think, but that's okay. Even my imps are getting involved in the combat here. I mean, that's a level 7 imp, though. That's going to be kind of hard to take out, but there we are. Making good movement there, but at the same time, what would really help more than anything is if we literally just beelined to another portal. That would actually be, like, amazing. Oh, and there's so much money just lying around still. This more armories. Or treasuries. Minimize walking distance. If we can get that done... Where's that imp? Good job, imp. Your reward is at the feel of my hand. A little bit more of that. A black knight has become unhappy because he hasn't been paid. Ooh, Black Knight's been too busy Your fighting, I think. There's a possibility creatures might leave if they become very unhappy. But... Taken over an enemy I think we're gonna be okay. So we took over a bridge. Again, it's probably just one of those middle ones, though, that don't really matter all too much. A sentry trap has been created in your workshop. Oh, good. All right. Yeah, if we can finish these sentry traps, I will actually feel a little bit better, because I know at least they won't be able to come, like, to me. Honestly, I'm tempted to just, like, throw a magic door right here. The enemy has taken your torture chamber. The imps are so funny when they fight, though. Because it's basically just slapping each other back and forth. It's not very impressive. Mm, digging all that out. Good, good, good. A little bit of slaps. And see, then we can get a lot more critters. Um, I think we've got lots of layer space, because I built an extra layer. Yeah, over here. We've got lots of room for things. A new spell. Has been a new spell. Yes, we got the call to arms. That's exactly what I'm looking for. Because what we can do is we can put it down, and it will summon all my creatures in one spot. So I'm going to use that to actually make some forward progress now. And we're going to call forward the Reaper, which I have to summon on my territory. But he is like the primo death machine. He will drain all my mana, and I think a fair amount of gold as well. But he's well worth it. Your bridge is under attack. What bridge? Not a bridge that matters. Bridge. I should actually go and, like, fight the humans to, just to get the rewards, but I think it'll be more important to, like, really damage this guy here. Take a lot of his stuff away and make some real progress there. Um, let's go and uh, call to arms... There we go. We're going to set it on the guy's actual portal where he gets all his creatures from. So by disabling that, we're going to be pretty much stopping him from being able to do anything else in the game. Now, the Horned Reaper here is being kind of solo. Oh, we claimed the extra portal over here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. There. I guess there's a long way to walk for this gold, though. Um... Yeah, that's okay. Bring bring the gold to my base. It's fine. We should build a, a temple. We might be able to get some dark angels. Um, here. Nice big area over here for a temple. So you get some pretty intense music with the Horned Reaper. You can possess him as well. But, you know, that's what I like about this game. is You don't really have to. You can do everything from, like, way up here. Your bridge is under attack. The enemy has taken your bridge. There we go. We're basically knocking everyone out. We're going to win this match easily. Well, a single slap would expel it from your domain. This is a little bit challenging. Oh, uh, the Horned Reaper is about to go away cuz he's about to drain the last of my mana. There he goes. He's poofing. But he got the job done. We've pushed into their base. We should be able to steal their um, their the summoning portal, but also if we destroy their heart then we've defeated the, the boss outright. Well, the territory there is being converted, so we've got that portal. Excellent. Anyway, this game is fantastic, and it's currently like a buck seventy-five on GOG.com. You should get it. You could also get the original um, Dungeon Keeper for free right now. If you're watching this on YouTube later on, it might not be on such a stupendous sale, but it's still going to be like $5 or something ridiculously cheap like that. There we go. Let's blow up the heart. I think the game will end when I blow up the heart. Although, maybe I should have, like, done the war against the humans. But 
But they're pretty tough. There's a lot of them. Hmm. There really is. Uh, I should probably move my flag, actually, to this room. Just to get these guys out of the portal room. Because they don't need to be there anymore. They can help defeat this heart. I don't think there's a health meter for this heart, as far as I can tell. Your creatures are unable to get to a treasure room. Oh, yeah. They want to get paid, but they won't because they're currently fighting. And they're being lightning bolted. Well, that's a little bit unfortunate. I could cancel the rally flag. Your portals have attracted as many creatures as they can. I guess I could... Uh, no, I can't heal them because they're not in my territory. Okay, we'll let them finish this fight. It is payday. It's payday. Hello, Dial de Pont or de Ponte. Thank you for subscribing. Really appreciate it. Oh, I cleared out that space. You have defeated an enemy keeper. I'm the winner. And again, there is a campaign in this, and it's great. Good storyline, excellent voice acting, very entertaining. Um, and, and I highly recommend Dungeon Keeper 2. My evil rating is 1.8 million. Mahaha. Of course, I was just playing against some AI. There's multiplayer. I've never actually played multiplayer in this game, but it's there. I just like the solo play so very much. You can also do the My Pet Dungeon, which is a kind of a sandboxy kind of mode, I think. Yeah. Make points, uh, administer slaps. Um, trying to remember, because there's a mode where you can summon... You can summon... I think it's the My Pet Dungeon. You can choose to summon, like, extra, like people to come and fight you whenever you want it might not be in there it might be somewhere else uh, and it's always nice because you get to just choose exactly what pace you want to do things in so uh there we go so let's go and uh I'm gonna take another pause and we'll be back in a minute